على المسلمين ومن ثم إلى خطبة الجمعة فاستمعوا يرحمنا الله وإياكم تقبل الله منا ومنكم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة The Imam starts this Friday sermon by praising Allah. He's the one, the most forgiving, most merciful. He forgives our sins. He guides us. He guides us to the truth. We praise Him, our Lord. We praise Him plenty. And we bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Him, Allah. A testimony that we hold high in our life. And I bear witness that Muhammad is his slave and final messenger. We send salutation and blessings upon him and his family and companions and everyone who followed them with righteousness. 
The Imam is reminding us to fear Allah, to have piety and hold tight to his rope and to the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And whoever holds tight to this Sunnah, then he will be protected from misguidance and the fitan and he will be rewarded with a good life in this dunya and in the hereafter. O oh, servants of Allah, the best blessing and the best thing Allah can give a person is the correct understanding of Islam, the correct understanding of the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And to live by this understanding and to understand the predecessors the righteous companions of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and what they have done and try and replicate that try to take them as role models understand how they reacted to situations and react similar to them this is your way to be successful we must strive to attain and acquire the correct knowledge and implement it in our lives. Allah says in the Quran to the nearest meaning, do they not know that what has been sent to you from your Lord is the truth? Only the people with minds understand this, the ones who the ones who follow Allah's command and fear Allah and the ones who are patient to reach a, a high position in Jannah and the ones who spend for the sake of Allah in private and secret and do a good action after the bad one these are the ones who will be rewarded with a Jannah a Jannah that is for them for their wives for their children and the angels come to them and give them glad tidings for their patience in this dunya and give them glad tidings to enjoy the hereafter and Allah says the ones who hear the call and follow and, ex and follow it and obey it these are the ones with great minds and Allah says in another verse to the nearest meaning and the one who spends his night remembering Allah prostrating to him fearing Allah do the people who implement this and the ones who do not implement this, are they on the same level? The Prophet peace be upon him used to make a dua and he used to say, I ask you for a beneficial knowledge and a pure rizq and an action that is accepted. Abu Musa al-Ash'ari he also narrated and he said the pro that the Prophet peace be upon him said to the nearest meaning the example of knowledge and Islam is the example of a region where rain comes to it and at some parts of it the rain falls on the crops and people benefit from this crop and feed their cattle and feed themselves and they look after this rain and make it work for them and and there are another people who rain falls and they do not do any methods to protect this rain, to make it go to their crops, to benefit from it. This is the example of knowledge. It falls upon everyone, but some people, they benefit from it, they listen to it, they comprehend it and they implement it. Others, it falls upon them and they it just bounces off them. They do not take any notice of it. They do not understand it or implement it. And it's important to stay on the right path to remain on it and the greatest misguidance the greatest misguidance is to reject the benefits of the Quran and the Sunnah 
The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said to the nearest meaning, and who is more oppressing to himself except the person who rejects the, the, the speech of his Lord? Rejecting this is a great loss. And misunderstanding Islam or or misunderstanding the verses of the Quran leads to innovations and bid'ah and problems amongst the Muslim Ummah because people do not understand the Quran correctly. And by this, people have shed other blood and called others non-Muslim and stole from their wealth and committed many evil crimes. And this is due to their misunderstanding of the Quran and misunderstanding of the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And these innovations, they are based upon people's misunderstanding of Quran and Hadith. And this is not because they reject Quran or have a different Quran, but it is them misunderstanding Quran. How did Uthman get killed? Uthman radiallahu an. And how did Ali ibn Abi Talib get killed? Again, because people misunderstood the Quran. And how did the Khawarij made the blood of the companions of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, halal for them? How? Other than the misunderstanding of Islam, the the explanation of Islam in how they want to please their own needs. And companions, the companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him, they replied to the Khawarij and they fought them whenever they brought up a new idea of a misunderstanding of a verse in the Quran, then the companions fought them and tried to rectify this and tried to stop them. To protect this Ummah and to protect the understanding and the implementation of the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Allah says in the Quran to the nearest meaning, and if Allah does not send people after people to fix on the earth, then you will see mosques and places of worship all abandoned. And Allah gives victory to the ones who give victory to Him. Allah is the most strong. The ones who when we give them ability on this world, they implement the salah and they pay the zakah and they do good and forbid evil. And for every innovation are people who take this innovation on. And the people who pass the innovation on, the younger generation are worse than the ones before them because they add more of their desires to the understanding of this innovation and they add to it and they change on it. And they take and they take young, ignorant, young people to misguide them, just like they have been misguided. And they do not look at how the companions acted and how they lived their lives.
And the previous Khawarij, the ones who went astray, they, they, they used to have respect for the mosques and for some of the Muslims. But the Khawarij, the ones who have gone astray from this time, they have no respect for mosques or for people praying or for anyone. But they consider everyone who is not with them as a non-believer and therefore their blood and their wealth for them is halal. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The Khawarij, they are the dogs of the hellfire. And the Khawarij are the ones who go against their Ummah and go against the Muslims and blow up their mosques and kill the Muslims. And as the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, they will re re keep on coming repeatedly, but they will be cut or they will always be beaten and, and another pro uh, hadith the prophet peace be upon him said these khawarij they will continue to come until their last groups they will be in the soldiers or they'll be in the army of the dajjal this is how much they have gone astray and these khawarij they take verses from the quran that came down on the non-believers and they made it for the believers and this is how they miss understand the Quran or misinterpret it the Prophet peace be upon him described them as they read Quran and they think it will benefit them but it will be against them their Salah will not go their, their reward for what they receive from Salah is just what they say verbally they will be not rewarded for it this is because they have gone astray and they kill the Muslims so we must stick to other tawheed and to the oneness of Allah Ibrahim said to his father I have been guided by my Lord and I will follow him and the khawarij of this time they disassociate themselves with Muslims who are praying in, in mosques and prostrating to Allah and they give their their wala their and they give their honor or they give their word to their own to them to their people only they only stick to their people and only see them as Muslims and they see anyone against them as, as their enemy a man came to Malik ibn Anas who was a great scholar and he asked him many questions and he only answered a few of them even though he spent all his life in knowledge but these people the khawarij they give a fatwa for everything and they put takfir on the Muslims and say they are non-believers and this is again due to their misinterpretation of the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him the Salaf, the companions of the Prophet peace be upon him, they used to interpret Quran with Quran and they used to interpret it with the Sunnah and what the Prophet peace be upon him has said. But these people, they interpret the Quran with their desires and with their ideology to meet their needs. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Follow what you have been sent down from your Lord and do not follow people and may take them as awliya for you, as, as people you follow. We ask Allah to benefit us from what we have heard from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And I remind you to, to ask Allah for forgiveness. He's the most forgiving, most merciful. الحمد لله
The Imam starts the second part of this khutbah by praising Allah. The most merciful, the one who owns everything in this world, the dominion, the, this dominion belongs to him. And we testify that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah. And we testify that Muhammad is his final prophet and messenger. We send salutation and blessings upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his family and companions. The Imam is reminding us to fear Allah and repent to him and praise him for the blessing of peace and security in our life. So remember the blessings that Allah has given you, this peace and tranquility and safety you live in. And remember that death is the destiny for all of us. It will take us from our houses to our graves to see what we have done in our lives and avoid the fitan and the people who call for evil fitan to, to the Prophet peace be upon him said the Jews were separated to 71 groups and the Christians to 72 groups and this ummah they they will spread, they, they will divide to 73 sects, all in the hellfire except one. The companion said, which one is this? He said, the, the, the one that follows what I and my companions are on, the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So do not be like the people who have gone astray. Allah says, the ones who have divided their religion, they will not to benefit in anything. Stick to the jama'ah, stick to the majority. And whoever goes astray, then he goes to the hellfire. And let our youth be careful and be careful from the ones who call for evil and call for innovation. And from the names that the, and the words that these people use to trick our youth because they call themselves as people who are doing good and people who associate Islam with their group's name. But Islam is innocent from what they do. But we as Muslims, we follow the, the name and the actions. If someone calls himself a Muslim but does not act like one, then what benefit is this for him? And we must stick to the Quran and Sunnah, to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. <coughs> Ask the people of knowledge if you do not know. O oh, servants of Allah, Allah asks you to do good and keep away from evil. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, told us whoever sends one salutation to me, Allah will send ten back to him. So send salutation to the best of mankind, Muhammad, peace be upon him. O oh, Allah, accept our salutation and blessings upon the beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, just like you have done so for the Prophet Ibrahim and the family of Ibrahim. The Imam is making dua for the Muslims. Oh Allah, accept the companions of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and whoever followed them with righteousness, with your mercy and generosity. Oh Allah, give honor to the Muslims. Oh Allah, give honor to the Muslims and destroy the enemies of Islam. Oh Allah, distinguish the bid'ah, the innovations. Oh Allah, distinguish. Oh Allah, extinguish the innovations and keep us away from them and keep us on the right path on the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Oh Allah, keep us and all the Muslims away from the fitan and the calamities. Allahumma 
Oh Allah, unite the Muslims and remove their problems and guide them to the truth and give them victory against their enemies and your enemies, O oh Allah. We ask you to give victory to your Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Oh Allah, remove the debt from the Muslims, cure the Muslims, cure the ill of the Muslims. Oh Allah, protect us and our children from Iblis and his children. Oh Allah, protect the Muslims and their children from Shaitan and his children. Oh Allah, we ask you to protect us. Oh Allah, we ask you to protect us from any evil and the evil of the people who make innovations in our religion. Oh Allah, show us the haq, the truth as truth and make us follow it and show us the evil as evil and make us avoid it. Oh Allah, we ask you to protect our land and the land of the Muslims from any evil. Oh Allah, give guidance. Oh Allah, give guidance to your to the leaders of the Muslims to be able to implement your Quran and your Sunnah and to make them able to implement the right Islam. Oh Allah, we ask you to protect our religion with our leaders. Oh Allah, give them rightly guided advisors who help them and advise them to do what is beneficial for Islam and the Muslims. Oh Allah, give us a good deed in this life and a good deed in the hereafter and keep us away from the hellfire. Oh Allah, we ask you to forgive our deceased and the deceased of all the Muslims. Muslims, oh Allah, enlighten their graves and multiple their reward and forgive their sins. Oh Allah, give us knowledge on Islam. Oh Allah, benefit us from this knowledge and keep us away from any fitan that may send us astray. Allah asks you to do good and keep away from evil. Allah advises you so you take heed. Allah knows all that you do so remember him constantly so he remembers you and praise him for what he has given you so he gives you more and remember Allah at all times he is the most forgiving most merciful Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah Ashhadu anna Muhammadar Rasulullah حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله استو اعتدلوا استو اعتدلوا الله اكبر الله اكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا
والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر الله أكبر الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده ربنا ولك الحمد الله أكبر 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 الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد الله أكبر الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده ربنا ولك الحمد الله أكبر 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 السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله 
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله